This is Scott. He's a heating engineer from the northeast of England. He's having a last minute workout, as tomorrow he's heading to the countryside to see his lover. I arrived from the UK last night. Spent the night in Bangkok. I'm here to see my girlfriend, Pang. Pang's a lady boy. <laughs> I try and make myself look good. I'm very into my fitness. And I want to look good for Pang. Uh, she says I'm, I'm fine how I am, but vanity. We always look, want to look a bit better, don't we? <sighs> I haven't seen her for about ten weeks. Ten weeks is a long time, though, when you're apart from somebody. Uh, long distance relationships, yeah, very difficult to try and make the most of every time we get together. But, yeah, really looking forward to seeing her. So, Pang's a lady boy. A lot of people can't understand, but until you meet these girls and you realise it isn't a guy in a dress. It does take a little bit of getting used to. Hey, we only live once, don't we? Scott was once a ladyboy virgin, and some first times can be a shock. First time I went to a ladyboy, I didn't realise it was a ladyboy. Back to the room and, and obviously clothes were off, and I thought, whoa, what's that? Uh, didn't know what to do, didn't know whether to walk out. Ended up having sex with her. But Woke up the next day after sobered up um, and then re honestly felt disgusted in myself. I thought, oh, what have I done? God, I'm gay. Oh, millions of things flooding through your mind. But found it exciting. And I don't know whether it, because it felt wrong, but it, it was exciting. So exciting that he went back for more and more and more. You sort of become addicted. Scott is divorced and a father of two. His previous life is a million miles away. He and Pang have been dating for two years. She lives in the northern town of Karat, five hours from Bangkok. They only get to see each other every three months. For Pang, it's been another long wait to see her for Rang, Thai slang for foreigner. Hello, baby. Sorry, Gap. Hello, honey. Hi, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> missed you. Every time when he come, I have stay exciting. Happy to see me? Yes. Yes, exciting. Yes. Shy, <laughs> shy. <laughs> 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 no. Yeah. You only get invited to the village if the girl you're with really wants to show you off to the family. It's a sign that Pang's accepted me and is, is proud of me. My most embarrassing moment was one of Pang's aunties said, uh, well, she said something in Thai, and they all burst out laughing. And I thought, uh, what's going on here? It's obviously about me. And I said to Pang, come on, what did she say? She said, uh, my auntie's asked if, uh, how do we have sex? And I thought, oh, God, no, not this. <laughs> and then she said something else, and Pang laughed again. I said, what did she say then? She said, are you having sex tonight? So, so Pang's rolling around on the floor laughing. She said, what do you want me to say? And I said, just tell her we don't have sex. It's easier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do see her as a girl. Everything about her, the way she acts, the way she moves, her body, she's a girl. Most guys, I think, would go with ladyboys. A huge amount of guys, more than would be prepared to admit it. I've shown my pictures of Pang, etc., and other ladyboys to, to guys. You know, you've been out down the pub and said, hey, what do you think of this? And they're like, oh, God, yeah, I like that, that's beautiful. And I say, well, you know, it's a guy. No way. 